from a prison cell to a rural property near Coffs Harbour for a reunion with an old friend and loyal supporter. I'm so elated, it's not funny. I'm nervous and I've everything. This was Kathleen Folbig's first taste of freedom after an intervention at the highest level of government. This morning at 9.30 I met with the Governor. I recommended that the Governor should exercise the raw prerogative of mercy and grant Ms Folbig an unconditional pardon. The Governor agreed. The impromptu meeting followed the release of the preliminary findings of an inquiry into her convictions for killing her four children. Findings that were summarised by the Attorney-General. I have reached the view that there is reasonable doubt as to the guilt of Ms Folbig for each of those offences. Supporters of the convicted woman were elated. Right now, justice has been done. It's not a day too soon. Back in Kathleen Folbig's hometown of Newcastle, long-time friends said the released prisoner would be looking forward to a T-bone steak and a bath. It's going to be a big day for her. But she doesn't know a lot about the modern world, you know? computers, iPhones. The pardon doesn't mean Kathleen Folbig's name has been cleared. The head of the inquiry will have the option of referring the case to the Court of Criminal Appeal to decide whether her convictions should be quashed. If that was to happen, um, it would be open to Ms Folbig uh, to, to initiate civil proceedings against the State of New South Wales for compensation. The turning point at the inquiry was new DNA evidence that suggested the children's deaths may have been due to natural causes. Scientists who gave independent advice to the inquiry expressed relief that the science has been heard. The question must now be asked, how do we create a more science sensitive legal system bringing to bear new, complex and emerging science routinely, every day, not just in exceptional cases. The Attorney-General called the children's father, Craig Folbig, to inform him of the decision. This has been a terrible ordeal uh, for everyone concerned and I hope that uh, our actions today um, can put some closure on this 20-year-old matter. In a statement, Kathleen Folbig's lawyer said the case was a reminder that we're all human and legal systems can make mistakes. She described the pardon as a breakthrough moment in a long and painful journey for the truth to be heard. Still like, is this happening? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Jamel Wells, ABC News, Sydney. And Jamel Wells is with me now. Jamel, where to now for Kathleen Folbig? Well, Anita, this isn't the end of the legal process, even though Kathleen Folbig has walked free from prison. Tom Bathurst is yet to hand down his full inquiry report and the, the Court of Criminal Appeal is then to yet formally quash her convictions. Now, people wrongly convicted aren't automatically compensated, but the Attorney-General has invited Kathleen Folbig to apply for compensation. Lindy Chamberlain received $1.3 million after three years in jail for a wrongful murder conviction. Kathleen Folbig has spent two decades there. Jamel Wells, thank you.